this? You seeing right? This isn't EU4. This is Hearts of Iron 4. Because today I will show you a cheeky strat with the Italian Focus 3 that you probably haven't seen anywhere else. Iron Man, historical, and you can sit back and enjoy the ride. Let's go. We will start with guns. We really need guns early on. So I will go down this. Okay, next I will just put the troops that are already in Ethiopia on the front line and just give them orders to push in with generals that should get the job done. Select all the troops that are not in any division and we will put them to these down here. The same with the entire air force because it is really of the essence that we win the war in Ethiopia fast. And we could lose the war for this threat, but I really like the experience you get when you win it. So I will win it. For a second focus, I'm going to go for better planes. Why this is important, you will see soon. By the way, I'm going to merge my entire navy into a huge blob. I'll just select all the different navies I have and just put them into the reserve. And over there, just select my reserve and merge them. This is the easiest way to merge a navy. If you didn't know, there you go. North succeeded. Success in the south, very good. And we complete the focus. Solid progress, which allows us to go down here, which we will do next. Very, very important, really very important save political power so I'll probably go for war economy and after that i will just save political power what we do need to do now is start a war call against yugoslavia we want to be at war with yugoslavia as soon as possible why because they're guaranteed by the french so ethiopia won and what i will do is i will puppet them why because this way i don't have any garrison nothing and we will need the guns trust me we will need the guns talking about that exact fact i will actually release every puppet in <laughs> africa so with all of this released i will go over here and bring these troops back to italy this was a horrible fallback line <laughs> oh my god and now we will do triumph in africa which will unlock the balance of power feature which will be very important for this so what i will do now is to train my navy a bit because we will need naval xp so we have 10 naval xp that's enough also I tend to forget my air force in uh, africa so let's go home what we will do now is we will take the airplanes we already own and we will rebuild them because this is not good i will add bomb locks and armor plates and that's gonna be my new cast because oh my god was the cast before useless we finished triumph in africa what i will do next is quite obvious if you know italy i will do all the things to get the national balance of power into the middle which means i will criticize the war fort which costs pp i will slander the deuce which costs pp and i will question the armies air force and navy's loyalty which will cost pp and their experience this is why we drilled the navy bam 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 so be careful that you have those things ready so let's go down this cause we need these two before we go to war then we can focus on other stuff and yes we will go down the neutral path while this is working in the background i will just position my troops on my border so that i don't lose any land because i don't want to have a civil war even though we get rid of Mussolini, we still can get one in a war so let's do everything so we don't the spanish civil war did just start which is quite fun that i got most of this done before all of that at the same time we're now done with this focus and i can go down to dispose of Mussolini, which is kind of funny you will see why in a few minutes <laughs> this is kind of i wouldn't say exploited but it's a weird way to go down this focus street right yeah we're kind of playing around the edges of the possibilities you can do with that i will also increase my recruitment law not that we need it right now but i rather have it now than forget it later so we have disposed of mr mussolini which will mean that i will go down the preserve army tradition route why that one because we will have no time to reform our army into a tank army so let's just stay at what we're good at i say these are the heavy quotation marks and let's go down that road so our war goal is ready i will start this war now which will get all the surrounding powers involved including czechoslovakia romania and france and yes for defeating the french i prepared this little surprise i know you would have never thought about it <laughs> like look at this this is disgusting okay don't ask me why but for some reason the orders with more than one paratrooper didn't deploy so i just made them into single orders and yeah that over don't ask me why France capitulated. We will steal their entire navy. Thank you very much. And we will take all of mainland France. And for the next part, I will ask all the Hoi 4 players to please have a strong stomach now because I will turn Africa into a mosaic. Bum. If you might ask yourself, why did I do it this way? They all have their own focus trees. They will also go down the industrial route. That means a lot of free industry for me. And on top of that, I don't have to garrison any of the land. Nothing. So I get all the guns, I get all the factories and have to invest nothing it's pretty good now if the french out of the way let's go into romania 
a small little excursion. And trust me when I say this, you want to move your navy out of the Mediterranean now. Later on, you will not be able to do it. And because chaos is the theme of this channel, I didn't change any of the Italian troops. I'm only using the base division. And you know what? This strat works. <laughs> I'm just defeating everyone. I didn't change anything. I didn't add artillery. I didn't change the template. I'm just using what the Italians have. And it's not good. But it's enough to capitulate Yugoslavia. Thank you very much. I'm gonna take your navy. Next stop, Romania. While we're starting to fight Romania, I will fabricate a war goal against the Belgians. Why? Because. I'm also going through the military reforms that I can because your military is pretty bad at the beginning. Beautiful. In time, Romania capitulated. Yes, we're running out of time. I will take all of it plus the navy. Thank you very much. Now I will need a very limited force to just protect this threshold over here. Very good. And why did we justify in Belgium? Because the UK will guarantee them. And this gives me a pretty much free war goal against the UK. So what we're going to do now is repair a naval landing <laughs> with just some troops. Literally just any troops. My experience, and I did this many times now this thread, in streams, on my other channel, and just private. So the UK AI will try to protect its entire border from you. And you own half of Africa. So they will try to cover all of these borders with troops, which means there's basically no resistance in the UK itself. Beautiful. And because we have the points now, please do this earlier than me. I was very busy migrating this. Staunch monarchist, you will lead him to go down the rest of the focus tree. And yes, I did prepare a collaboration government because, yeah, because garrison reasons mostly. Let's go. The best part about this is that I will fabricate a few more war goals from nations I want to have too, which is mostly Benelux nations, because it opens up a better border against Germany. Germany. Oh yeah, we will fight Germany. So if the land of troops just go wherever, make chaos, be chaos. As you might have noticed, the UK have barely any troops here, which is, as I mentioned, beautiful and allows me to do just a very easy naval landing, <laughs> actually. And our first mission is to take as much ports as we can. I will also use this time now to get the reforms done we can only do when we at war with a great power. So let's do that. My navy is actually winning against the UK's navy. <laughs> okay, you know what? Just to save both navies, because I do want to steal the navy, I will just put my navy into the port. And I will order my dockyards to build transport ships. We will need transport ships. And yes, I'm using the paratroopers in my offensive armies. And you can't stop me. London has fallen, continue to push around them. And most importantly, take the air bases, cause then they can't deploy the air force anymore. And you might have noticed that we are in England and the Germans haven't even unschlossed Austria. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the blessed timeline. I don't want to capitulate the UK just yet, so I'm gonna chill now. I will build a few more troops just to be safe, but I want to get the army reforms done for what we need to be at war with a great power. So I will actually not attack them anymore. These are over here and over here. There's also Navy stuff, but Navy is not a priority. We should steal all the ships and we use them for naval landings. So we'll do the research slot now and we will finish off the British right after I declared war on Luxembourg. <laughs> Wait, yeah, now I can. <laughs> the timing on that one. Okay, good. Now I will finish off the British. That was literally three days later. And because the British were the only great power, everyone capitulates. Once again, stealing all the navies. They're like my infinity stones. We just won against France, Great Britain, and most of the Balkan nations. And that even before the Spanish Civil War ended, all the Anschluss happened. This thread is really fast. And it's all working towards one big goal. What it is, you will see in a bit. But yeah, for now, I just need to build a lot of guns. And you know, when I said earlier, this focus tree is a little bit confusing. Yeah, because we won the war, Mussolini is back. <laughs> the good thing is that it doesn't matter. Because once you finish this focus, you can always go down this one when you have enough non-aligned support, which we are currently getting. So it actually doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just so confusing. Then you dispose of Mussolini, and then he comes back. And then you dispose of him again. Oh yeah, I forgot to do this. You might notice that this is an EU4 channel normally, right? I do play a lot of 4 4 but I'm such a casual player. I feel like at this point it's a meme that every EU4 channel makes like a Hoi4 video too. <laughs> but I do privately play this game a lot. Mussolini has a mission for me. But you know what? I have the feeling that he will not be around for that much longer. So... We'll see about that. We're slowly but surely catching up in guns. And I have 45 factories on guns right now. So yeah, garrison all of this, at least at the beginning, very expensive. What we can and should do now is to do the Ministry of Italian Africa. 
because it allows us to fuse all of these puppets into one big one. Because if they go down this route, they will just be annoying. So this solution of making Ethiopia puppet is just a temporary one. You think the US is scared? Because they have Italy on top of them now. <laughs> uh, I will actually disband off my irregulars now because we can have way better troops now. And we'll try to reform my army. At the same time, I will also go do on this here because it will help with compliance growth. So why not? And we can do this focus now, allowing us to become a monarchy. Very cool. I will also establish the African puppet, which will unite all of this land. We do have nearly double the production of Germany now, military-wise. We shouldn't forget about Hungary, though, which will probably join them, and Bulgaria. Continuing to go down here is actually beautiful because it gives us good advices, democracy support, and compliance. Very good. We did lose some military leaders, though. <laughs> they just disappeared into the void. But now we have this Giga Chad leading our army, so no problem. I will start to fabricate a vocal on Germany. We might not even need it because we'll probably declare one Czechoslovakia, but that should keep me safe because we will go democratic now. And after that, I will not be able to declare wars on my own anymore. So yeah, kind of now or never. Never mind. Hungary just declared a war in Czechoslovakia. What? I'm just happy that I'm currently building a lot of troops. So yeah, I am kind of ready for this. I feel like this is a bit better than fighting against Germany at the same time. So we now have a democratic king. I will disband the black shirts now because they are really annoying troops that you can't delete and I want to have more control over my army. Yeah, Hungary capitulated. Wow. <laughs> Goodbye, Hungary. And ironically, this makes the front line easier. <laughs> and yes, we are actually democratic now, just without elections. What a great democracy. <laughs> So at this point in time, the Germans demand the Sudet land off of us. That's actually a big question if you want to give it to them or not. I feel like we are ready. I'm just going to say no. Let's see what they do. Yeah, they immediately declare the war. Oh, my war goal against the Germans is ready. Wow, cool. I have to do this now because the Soviet Union is justifying against me. Oof. Okay, the Germans are trading negatively, finally, and their air force is slowly but surely diminishing. That is great news because I am pumping a lot of factories now into the air force and <laughs> it is paying off, but I feel like, you know, maybe I should have given them the land. Maybe. So I officially Dunkirk the Germans. What a plot twist. Okay, a year of army reforms later. I feel like I'm finally prepared to attack. I made some 7-2s. I have way more air force now. Should be able to actually push everywhere. So I'm going to try that. And yes, you see the beautiful cast damage we do now. That's what I want to see. The German front lines are melting. Hey, adaptable. Yeah, that, that's how long I'm at war with the Germans now. And officially have an encirclement. It's called Austria. <laughs> This is so good. Oh my god, this feels great. After all of this pain. Ah, beautiful. Very beautiful. All gone. Oh, this will feel so good seeing this. Oh yeah. <laughs> so good. Amazing. That was really good. The Germans have 100% capitulated. And because of the Molotov Raventhor Pact, I even get half of Poland. <laughs> so yeah, why not? Bum, bum. And now we can talk about the beautiful button we can click now. Because you might have noticed that I've attacked very specific nations. And that's because Italy qualifies as a nation that can form the EU. So we will do that now. It looks so good. And the best part is we get cores all over Germany. The Benelux and France. That's all core land now. Because why not? And we are not done yet. Because there's one more thing you can do with all of this. You can form Rome. Yes, you heard me right. We can still form Rome. As a democratic Italian nation that just formed the EU. It's a little bit broken. But I love it. What I personally find really funny is when you form the EU, Great Britain doesn't become a core. Uh, I don't know if that's a side thing from the devs, but it is what it is. Mare Nostrum, done. And yes, I'm already attacking Bulgaria because they did join the Axis and they still are in the Axis because they are what's left of the Axis. Yeah, I still want to get rid of them, right? Because we need the land anyways. And the next. Beautiful. This looks so cursed. European Union, the great colonializer. Um, yeah, based. Just annoy the Japanese a bit, because they will claim my islands. I will just give a lot of equipment to the Chinese, so they will just defeat them. I love you, China. No win. <laughs> I'm giving them so much stuff. 
All roads leads to Rome. Done. Let's do Iberian protection, which gives us a war goal or a puppet over the Iberian nations. I mean, we have a war goal over them already. Maybe I should have done it the other way around. They like me a bit less now, but <laughs> that doesn't matter. Let's try it. Melting the Greeks because we have a very big air force over them. <laughs> Goodbye. So what will I say? Portugal rejects and Spain accepts. <laughs> Okay, that's pretty good. We got a free Spain. And we turned them democratic because we are democratic. And then someone says democratic nations are boring. I'm having a blast. Literally, this is one of my favorite paths to go down as Italy. It is so fun. Because you go across all the ideologies in a way. It, the only thing you're missing is communism. And it, that's it. Just declaring war on everyone because I can. Very beautiful. Can I just state that Greece is at 99%? I've taken everything and have not given up. So I have to go all around here through Turkey, just get one of these islands. Oh my god. This is the moment where I despise the new system because I didn't have enough points to take Lisbon. So they're just free now. Because, you know, my puppet they didn't want to take it. Why is this a thing? Oh, and I can invite the US into Novos Imperium Romano. Yes. Welcome. Blue states unite. Let's go. And finally, Greece is gone. Go on, give me everything beautiful. Oh, what a beautiful encirclement. Yes. Turkey, gone. This is a whole different way to expand the European Union. <laughs> it's kind of a cursed timeline. The positive side is, in this timeline, you don't need to apply for the European Union. <laughs> you just get accepted. Denmark is right now in the process of joining us. Very good. Oh, Mexico wants to join our faction. Yeah, sure. The diplomatic expansion on top of the more direct one. Uh, I love how blue Africa is. <laughs> It's so stupid. Ah, yeah, Denmark. Welcome. Welcome, Ireland. So many new European Union members. Ah, Romania, you missed me, right? Oh, yeah, they've built barely any military in the meantime. Welcome back, Romania. We have missed you and your oil. I mean, this already looks pretty sick, but I can make it better. But I will need a lot of PP for that. Lapira wants to join too. Welcome. I feel like it's actually all of Africa now. <laughs> all of Africa is in my faction. Ah. Uh, and I also just finished the focus, which invites the entirety of South America. So let's see who wants to join. Ecuador, Chile, Panama, Argentina, Peru, Venezuela, Colombia, Paraguay, Uruguay. Brazil says no. But yeah, everyone except Brazil joined. Brazil, are you really sure you don't want to join? <laughs> no, that's not worth it. <laughs> So I'm going to take this last focus to get more political power. And after that, I will just wait because I need to annex the North African puppets over here and Spain. And I got to declare war on Portugal a second time because as my last big conquest, I will take over the Swiss because I can. So eating Spain jump. Very good. I might be a bit biased here, but I want to honestly say the European Union as a nation would look sick on a map. Okay, all I'm saying. Truce is over. Let's go. Beautiful. And now to end the European expansion uh, integration, we have to go to our last stop. A nation, he not being neutral, but they will not resist our unity. You know what they said. Europe and Victor. Let's go. They are melting. They are literally melting. <laughs> Finally, they've given up. Let's go. Very nice. Does look sick. I'm gonna be honest. Does look very sick. While this is going on, I'm gonna make myself a coffee and let the game just run. Because <laughs> this will take a while. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I'll be right back. So after a long time, the Japanese finally decided to declare war on me. Yeah, me and the Americans are just wrecking the Navy. I'm feeding endless amounts of equipment into China. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> I have to say I'm too lazy to send troops in there, but it's nice to finally put my Navy to use. Only these three left, so 900 PP. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> okay, they're really losing it now. Oh no, it might be over for the Japanese. While I wait for time to pass, I still research, but I will not use it. <laughs> it gives me something to do in the time to wait, okay? And finally, I can do this, which allows me to do this. Res Publica Romana. Beautiful. I have to say this was a lot of fun. The waiting at the end, bit boring. Maybe I should have declared for the Soviet Union in the meantime to have something to do. I have to say, this is just jumping out. Oh, I've never seen that. <laughs> oh my god, this looks hilarious. <laughs> Augustus Victorio Emanuel. In my opinion, this is the most fun way to play Italy. You grow fast and if you don't do stupid mistakes like me, you have to stun in about 1941, maybe. If you don't puppet the north of Africa, you should have an easy time. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye. By the way, a few years ago, I made a Hoi 4 mod. If you want to see me play that, let me know.